Hey guys, Bellatrix Petzl here, and welcome back to an episode of Let's Play with Ava Holland. So, we haven't been here in uh, a couple of weeks. Um, I've been focusing on the supporting characters of this Let's Play, but now we're back, so... Yeah, it is Monday morning. Ava works at 2 p.m. today. Um, so I think I'm going to go through today. We're going to fast forward really quickly through Tuesday. And Wednesday, which is her day off, we're going to have something interesting happen. Um, so her knees are okay. She has not done her music playing before work yet. And she needs to get her piano skills up. So we're going to go ahead and get her to play some keyboard. If it'll let me. <laughs> Come on. Click on the click on the keyboard. Um, <laughs> more choices. What? Where's the practice option? All right. Well, I guess we're gonna go ahead and tickle the ivories. Um, and Dean is Dean is fully up there with his needs, so we're gonna go ahead and work on getting some of his skills up. So his potty skill is very low, but there's not much we can do right now But about that. So we're going to wait till he needs to go to the bathroom before leveling that up. And we're going to work on the thinking skill. So let's find those blocks. And... Ah. Alright. Um, let's play on the tablet. That'll get his thinking skill up. Play sim shape. Okay, your imagination skill and communication. Oh, wow. He's pretty up there with movement and communication and imagination. Like, that's pretty good. I don't know why his communication skill is apparently still going up, but... Anyways, he has his tablet in hand, and he's going to go ahead and just get that thinking skill up a couple levels. And then we're just going to keep an eye on their needs while we fast forward through this. Alright, so based off of their needs, um, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to wait until Ava gets back from work before... You know what? I'm just going to keep fast forwarding. Honestly, I'm just going to skip for you guys until we get to Wednesday and her day off begins. Because I'm just working on her skills for now. So nothing's gonna in nothing really interesting is going to happen in the next um, couple of sim days. So... I will talk to you guys on Sim Wednesday. Alright, well, I thought I'd tune back in and share this problem with you guys. Score no more. Ava has been practicing and practicing a section of a score and just can't quite get it right. It is more than a little frustrating. Should she keep at it or take a break? I mean, I guess take a break. We'll see what happens. All right, let's find out. Good call. After Ava gets a drink, she feels much better, and the notes just seem to fall into place. There's no stopping Ava now. That came. That turned out perfect. All right, so I'll talk to you guys Wednesday unless another one of these issues rise up. So it's Wednesday, and Ava has the day off finally. So we're gonna get everyone's needs in order, and then we're gonna go and take a little trip. So Dean here needs to take a little bit of a potty. Um, after that, we'll get Ava to bathe him, and he'll nap again. And while he's napping, she'll either work on her skills or get her needs up, depending on what's going to happen next. So I'm just going to hit the fast forward in The Sims for a little bit, try to get this go by a little bit faster. Um, so this episode is probably going to be relatively... Um, short because I'm going to end this Wednesday night. Um, it's going to be a one day thing um, plus the little bits of Monday that I did record. Uh, yeah. Alright, so I have a feeling like he's probably almost done. Oh. Is that Tyler? Oh, we have to. G We're busy today, but we need to get her back into the dating world. We need to get her to go on another date. Um, alright, pause that. 
he's a little bit sad, which sucks because he's, you know, he just, he's all alone. Um, no, I think that gives a negative thing on the new parenting whatever is okay anyways um we're gonna get him to spend some time with Abel while she puts him in the bum bath uh give Dean a bubble bath because those are always more fun than regular baths <laughs> or at least I always thought so when I was a kid um alrighty hopefully it'll cheer him up a little bit get him out of his funk um hopefully he won't be resistant to taking a bath Oh, he did not want to take a bath. He's such a stubborn little guy. Oh, no. Is he throwing a fit? Oh, boy. So what does he want to do? He wants to yell at Ava. We're not going to do that, Dino boy. Come on, bubble baths are fun. You're going to enjoy being in the bath. See, look at that. You're just playing around. I mean, she's going to be uncomfortable because she's going to be all soaked, but... Uh-oh, she's tense from a disobedient toddler. See what you're doing to your... to your mother? Anyways, going to go ahead and fast forward through that because I feel like staring at a child in a bath is um, a little weird, even if it's The Sims. <laughs> uh, okay, so she's pretty hungry, so we're going to get her to eat. And after this, we should actually probably give Dean some food. So let's go ahead. Oh, God, what does he want to do? No, you're not going to make a mess. Uh... How do we how do we calm down an angry toddler? No, I don't want to throw a tantrum. No, no. <laughs> What's under be gross? Oh boy. Okay. Um. How about he just politely asks for food? See, it's food, please, <laughs> not just give me food now. All right. Maybe if he asks for food, he'll get. Oh, okay, now he's not feeling angry anymore. That's good. He's playful. Maybe if he says food, please, he'll get, you know, some plus on the manor front or something. Or, you know, not. That's cool, too. <laughs> um, I think it's in small g, yeah. So, for manners... See, I feel like most of these things I won't be able to do until he's an actual kid or a teenager. So, until then things are just gonna go downhill oh do not play with no play, no what he asked for food though it's very easy to get those negative outcomes isn't it it's food please he's asking for food why don't you feed your kid damn it Ava maybe you shouldn't be a mom after all There we go. Gonna feed him? Oh, okay, I probably actually have to click on feeding him. Alright, I get it. I'm just bad at making Ava a good mom. <laughs> Alright, click. Give food to Dean. Let's see, what do we want today? Ham and cheese sandwich or peanut butter jelly? Let's go with peanut butter jelly. There we go. And then she'll eat. I'll clean up everything. And where is he going? Okay, cool. He's gonna go eat. That's that's good. Um. Okie dokie. So we'll be introducing two new characters to this Let's Play today, um, and that's where we will be going. So gonna go ahead and travel very soon and I will give you guys an introduction to the new um, sims in this build uh, in this build in this let's play do 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 
do do do do. <laughs> Just gonna fast forward through this a little bit. Why do the sims never do what I tell them to do? Okay, <laughs> um, he needs to get his fun up a little bit. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and play with the dolls. He'll have some fun doing that. And Ava is going to go to the bathroom before they head out. Um, yeah. Alright, use. Do, 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 do. So happy Sims automatically change into everyday clothes once they go outside. Um, yeah, okay. Did we get bills at any point that I didn't pay? No? Good. <laughs> I'm not very good at paying attention to when bills come in. Um, alrighty, so how's Dean doing in the fun department? That's cool, that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and exit that. And hit travel there you go. gonna go ahead and travel with Dean do, 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 do. and they're gonna go just across the neighborhood <laughs> Dean will see there I love that like I'm pretty sure they're gonna travel together but you know maybe I'm wrong <laughs> um, no I need that open all right so, we're going to go ahead and take a trip to Holland. Um, to a Holland household. So, if that name gives you guys any ideas, it is Ava's parents. So we are here to meet Ava's parents. So, this is Elise Holland. She has the mansion bearer aspiration. She is family oriented, she's a snob, and she's mater materialistic. So as excited as she's always been to have a grandkid, the fact that Dean um, isn't actually Ava's um, by blood makes her a little cranky, I guess you can say. Um, so we're just going to zoom in right here, right, really close. You can see she has the same color eyes as Ava, very similar features. Um, Ava definitely got her looks from... Her mother she's a gorgeous lady um so let's just take a quick look at her outfits so here's her every day here is her formal her athletic her sleepwear her party wear and her swimwear next up we have her husband and Ava's father Alfred Holland and he wants to be fabulously wealthy. Um, he's ambitious, materialistic, and a snob. It's going to zoom in right here. So he does not have those blue eyes that Ava does, but he did once upon a time have blonde hair, um, you know, before it turned gray. <laughs> um, and now we're just going to take a quick look. This is his everyday outfit. Oh, actually, okay, there we go. <laughs> here is his formal, a nice fancy tux. <laughs> um... Here's his athletic, his sleepwear, his party wear, and his swimwear. And there you have it. Those are Ava's parents. Um, they will be available to download on the gallery once this video is up, which is now for you guys listening. <laughs> um, not now as I say it out loud. Anyways, moving on. Back to the Let's Play. So, Ava and Dean have just traveled to Ava's parents' house. So, we're just going to zoom out 
and take a look at this really pretty house. Um, so I'm just going to let you guys know now, I did not build this house. I downloaded it off of the gallery. I didn't really feel like building a house. Um, so this was a house made by Hatsy YT. Um, she's a YouTuber and I, I wasn't particularly looking for a house by her, but I happened to find this house and it was by her. So I will put a link in the description below to her YouTube channel. I'll try to find the specific video and if I do that'll be the link instead to this video. Um, and there's also going to be the information of, well I'm going to put the name of this house if you guys want to download it on the gallery and her, um, her origin ID so you guys can check out her builds because this house is completely hers. I did put one or two additional items but the build, the furnishing, it's all her and I'm don't want to take any credit for that, so I will leave all the information for this house below. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and knock on the door. So you guys met her parents, you guys saw their aspirations and their traits, and if you guys couldn't guess, um, they're not completely uh, happy with... Ava's life, um, Ava's current lifestyle choices, um, you know, she, she's not married, she's raising someone else's kid, she's a mu musician, she doesn't make huge amounts of money, her parents make hundreds of dollars an hour, and she makes 80 something dollars an hour, which is pretty good, but, you know, it's nothing incredible. Um, so, Dean is just gonna go ahead and play in this bedroom right now um, while Ava goes to talk to whichever parent is home. Um, I think only her dad is home. Let's see if we can find him. <laughs> um, doesn't seem to be in the bedrooms. Is he downstairs? Maybe, they're, maybe both parents are at work. Whoopsies. Um, yeah, shoot, where are her parents? Alright, so, turns out both her parents are at work, I guess. Um, shoot. This is why I should let Sims quit their jobs. Um, yeah, no, that's not the right one. It's household, isn't it? All right. Why don't? Why isn't there an option for family? All right. Um. Oh, she doesn't technically know them. All right. Hold on. I highly doubt I'll have the careers up there in their hours, but I need to do something, you know. Alright, Alfred has a mask on his face. He must be home, right? Where would one get a mask on their face? Alright, I'm just going to look around the house really quickly, try to find them, so give me a second. <laughs> Alright, so Ava's father is in the bathtub upstairs, so she's going to go ahead and hang out with Dean um, until he gets out of there. All right, and her mom is currently at work. I think she either finishes at five or or four. Um, we'll see. So where is little Dean? Oh, he's tired, and there's no, oh, there's no toddler bed. Shoot. He, oh, I really wish he could just sleep somewhere. Crud. Okay. Um. What's this? I'm going to send him to daycare, um, because I can't actually take care of him here, so I'm just going to send him to daycare. Uh, so, yeah. Alright, she's going to go talk to her dad, and he's feeling tense, so that's probably, you know, good if they have an awkward relationship. Or, you know, a friendly <laughs> introduction. It's really weird. She has to introduce herself to her father. That's really weird to me. <laughs> Um, but anyways, I created them, they are related, 
uh, but I guess they don't technically know each other. Um, so her dad, who is in the political um, career track, he, you know, he doesn't disapprove of her as much as her mom does, but there's still, you know, some tense, uh, tense things going around. They get along when they're talking about, you know, the weather or the weather, <laughs> um, but big issues, they sort of don't get along, so her and her dad have always had a very easygoing, don't talk about anything huge, um, sort of relationship. Um, but yeah, when her mom gets home, I think there are going to be a couple of fights in there, in their future, um... Yeah, because her mom is, is, you know, first of all, when Ava said she wanted to study music, her mom wasn't very happy, um, but Ava did what she wanted to do. She moved out very young because she wanted to follow her, her dreams, and once Ava agreed to take care of Dean, or got left with Dean and decided to take care of him, her mom really wasn't happy, you know, her dad was like, hey, you're doing the right thing, you know, being a good person, but her mom was like, no, you know, you this is someone you're you were dating they cheated on you they had a kid with someone else and you're raising the kid that's not okay um but yeah anyways more choices friendly compliment outfit you know it's one of those things she doesn't really know what to talk to her dad about they're both heading downstairs though um i really want the mom to come home <laughs> Elise, where are you? We need you here for added awkwardness. Family reunions aren't supposed to go this well. Um, I just don't want her to get into a fight with her dad before her mom gets home. Um, hug lovingly. Why not? She is his daughter after all. <laughs> Um, alright. Let's take a look at this house. It's really, really pretty, actually. I love this kitchen. I love the wood. And I've never actually thought about doing a cool, intricate pattern design with, like, floor tiles and wood. It's really cool. This house is gorgeous. It really is. And it has, like, the perfect feel for her parents, you know. They're wealthy, they can afford a nice big family home, and the style seems seems right. Um, I did change a couple, like three or four of the furnish furnishing pieces, and I added like a couple of things outside, but that was just because for the mother's aspiration, we needed a nice big house that was worth a lot of money, so I changed a couple of things here and there. Um, but nothing big, anyways. So, at least, you know, her and her dad know each other now. <laughs> it's really weird that they didn't know each other. The Sims is so weird. Um, well, there he is. It's up there. It's not going to show anything. Yeah, there we go. Elder, spouse, career unknown, traits unknown. Oh, neither friend or foe, just an average relationship. That's, I mean, that actually kind of perfectly sums up the relationship. Um, with her parents, I envisioned, but that just seems harsh. Oh, looks like her mom might be home. So that's good. We can go ahead and get her to talk to her mom wherever she is. Um, where is Elise? Oh, okay. She just appeared out of nowhere. So, Let's see. Let's. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna ask her parents about their career, and we're gonna do the get to know because it's really weird that she knows, doesn't know any of the anything about her parents. Um, some more choices. Friendly. Let's go with ask about career. Then, come on. More choices. Friendly. Where is the get to know option? More choices. Get to know. There we go. So we're going to add a couple of things in here. <sighs> I can only imagine how her mom reacted to 
Ava's tattoos <laughs> when she first got them. That might have been that must have been interesting. Oh, okay, they're watching a zombie movie on TV. That's pretty cool, I guess. Surprised her mom would do that. Alright, well, I'm gonna give this a little pause for now and I'm going to switch controls over to her parents. Um, so I'll talk to you guys when I'm finished loading that up. <laughs> Alright, so here we are with the parents in control. Um, please don't tell me Ava just- okay, she didn't disappear, that's good. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and see things from the parents' perspective for a little bit. So Elise, instead of going on the computer, she's gonna go ahead and talk to her daughter. Um, <laughs> argue about house rules. Um, I know that Ava doesn't live there anymore, but it just seems so perfect. <laughs> um, alright, so let's turn this around. So both of these parents are at the top of their careers, um, and they've both uh, fulfilled their aspirations. I may have used cheats to do that. <laughs> um, I think she's telling Ava not to sneak out the window. <laughs> I feel like bragging about job titles is something she would do. She'd be, you know, she'd try to do it in a better subtle way. Um, she'd be like, see, I'm at the top of my career. I make this much money. How much money do you make in your, um, music job? You know, just be very subtly snarky. Like, here she is making $457 an hour. Whereas, and her husband making $374 an hour. Like, that's insane. Versus Ava's, like... $87 an hour or something. Oh, she is not happy. Discuss angry mood. Um, and I think that um, Alfred over here is going to try and interfere and just sort of yeah, there you go. He's going to try and calm the calm the girls down because he loves his family and even if they don't agree on everything he wants you know he wants everything to go swimmingly he wants he wants his wife and his daughter to be on good speaking terms um you know they're getting up there in age they can retire soon you know they don't want you know he wants to have a good relationship with his daughter um they she had you know rough teenage years with them and yeah <laughs> God, they look like they hate each other um all right let's switch back to Elise for a second she's really not in a good mood but you know he's like guys calm down hug it out you know, uh, argue about music. Oh boy, okay. Let's go to friendly. Um, there should be an apology somewhere in there, right? More choice. Complain about TV size. Oh my god. Um, reconcile argument. At least as a snob, snobs love to critique the work of others and prefer the companionship of fellow snobs. Oh boy. This is so not going well and I'm sort of loving this. Oh, okay. Is she leaving? She's not. Okay. Perfect. So Ava's back to feeling like she did when she was younger, you know, stifled in this house and just... She's just not happy. Um, you know, after talking to Alfred, uh... Elise is like, okay, okay, I'll go apologize. I'll try to reconcile with our daughter. Um, reconcile argument. I don't know if they're at a place where they can actually hug lovingly. Um, I like how purchase 20 columns is on that list. 
Let's see, what is this? Okay, acquaintance, neither foe, just an average relationship. That's fine. Um, what the hell is my cat doing? Get, get out of my bag. Thank you. <laughs> All right, anyways. No, do not go on the table while I'm recording, please. Okay, things are not getting better. Oh boy. All right, let's pause. What what is going on here? Be yelled at by Ava. Okay. Okay, now she's angry too. Ooh, things are not going well. She wants to rant and rave to someone. We're trying to get things to go better, you know. We're not going to do any of those things. Going to apologize. And then maybe ask to leave um, because she just can't stand what's going on here, you know. She's like, she loves her daughter deep down. She doesn't show it all the time, but, you know, she does love her daughter. She just sometimes needs to cool down <laughs> and have some time alone. But let's see how the apology is going to go. Um, let's just wait for that to actually go down there. Wait for her to apologize. You know, Ava thought about bringing Dean over. I know she did, but we sent him to daycare and pretended that he didn't. Um, you know, to try and see if her parents wanted to meet him. And she's apologizing. She's like, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. You know what? We'd love to meet Dean. We'd love to meet your son. Have us over one day. It'll, it'll be good. It'll be great. You know? Um... Let's see. More choices. Friendly. Um, more choices. More choices. <laughs> Let's see if we can hug lovingly. Let's see if they can hug it out before Ava goes home. I mean, I don't think so. I think it might be really awkward, but... Let's see. They are family after all. Alright, and that works. So Ava's actually going to be on her way out. Um, so she's just saying bye to her parents. They argued, but... Oh my god, you can secure vote? That's amazing. I have to do this. I have to do this interaction. That's incredible. <laughs> secure vote, and then hug lovingly. So, you know, her dad was just totally is like, apologize, hug it out. Don't let her leave angry. Um, so that's what happened. He's securing. <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing. Secure vote, debate politics from the left. Oh my god, that's incredible. Okay, anyways, more choices. Hug lovingly. And she will be on her way out after that. <laughs> um, Alright, because it is 7 at night. Um, alright, and he's leaving for a computer. Protest for cause here. Okay, okay, so, well, that's just not happening. Okay. Um, everyone wants to be on the computer, so let's just pause this. Stop moving, guys, you're paused. Alright, click. I swear to God, I have a timer that's gonna go off in any second. Um... I'm doing laundry right now, so I just need to make sure that I'm back in time to get my clothes from the dryer so that no one tries to, like, steal that. What? How did I get to the purchase book section of things? <laughs> what is going on? Alright, ask to leave. There we go. Okay. So things did not exactly go as planned at the beginning of this build, but uh, of this build, sorry, of this let's play, but I got it to a point that I wanted it to. Um, so on her way out, on Ava's way out, Elise is going to go talk to her husband, sort of vent a little bit, get just everything out of the way, ask for some reinsurance. Um, I know that she's embarrassed because of her job and that's why she's asking, but we'll just say it's like, am I a bad parent, my bad mother, I just want what's best for our child, um, sort of thing, so, 
Anyways, Ava is hopefully going home. She's not. Oh my god. Sometimes I can't stand The Sims. All right, maybe it'll go over better if her dad asks her to leave. Um, I am going to switch back control to Ava, but hopefully that'll be when she's home. Um, she can't ask to leave. Is she already on her way out? Is that why? Let's see. Yeah, okay, cool. She's on her way home. That's good. So they're just discussing things. How does he know a little child? That's weird to me. Anyways. They're just getting along, you know, he's reassuring her. He's like, you're not a bad mother. You guys just don't see eye to eye on everything. Um, anyway, so that was Ava's family. Uh, let's get back to Ava's house. And um, yeah, I'll end the let's play there. Okay, we are back from Ava's parents' house. And as you guys may have noticed, things did not go very well. Um, but that's okay. Things happen. So, Ava clearly needs to take a shower. Um, she's feeling bored. Whoop. Ag whoops. Aggravated by blowhard. Nothing's worse than know-it-alls who think they can help everyone. Oh boy, I feel like that had to do with her parents. Um, whoops. <laughs> it really didn't go well then, did it? Um... And let's see, what skill do we want to work on for Dean? So communications at level 4, imagination at 4. Those are pretty good. Um, so potty and thinking, he does, not know, he does not need to go to the toilet, so let's go ahead and play with shapes. There we go. So, how's Ava doing? She works tomorrow, and she has three days of work until Sunday. She's still not at piano level 6, which kind of sucks, but I get it. She doesn't practice very often. Um, so before she goes to bed, she obviously needs to shower, and she's going to need to eat some food. Dean seems alright. Um, his attention and fun are a little low, but Ava's going to read him to sleep, which will bring those up. Even I know he doesn't actually need to sleep, um, but it'll bring those up. And he'll go to bed. Uh, maybe we'll feed him before just so that. I guess he doesn't need to eat. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. After Ava eats her dinner, we'll see how he's feeling and I'll decide um, from there what to do. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and open that fridge and get some leftovers. Grab. Nice and showered. She's got a whole nother outfit on. Um, I feel like it's soon time to change her outfits. I've been staring at the same everyday outfit for a while. Then again, she does have a bunch of them, so maybe I don't need to. We'll see. Um, I really hope you guys don't hear uh, all the screaming that's going on outside. There's a lot of kids that live in the building that I live in, and kids are always playing outside, so there's always, like, screaming going on. You know, when kids chase other kids around, and they just end up screaming. For whatever reason. Anyways, that's that's sort of what's happening right now. So I hope you guys can't hear that because it gets a little annoying and I don't really want that in the background of my video. Um Okay. Okay. Dean has a return to daycare even though he's been there the entire time. But anyways. Um his knees are still alright. Ava's getting tired. Um, but we need to take care of Dean before she goes to bed so that she won't have to wake up in the middle of the night and feed him or read him to sleep or whatever. So I'm just going to finish eating and go to the toilet. No, that's that's potty training. Um, use that. She has a really big bathroom. I can't wait till we till I get to the renovation build. Um, I'm going to just go all out in every room. Well, as all out as I possibly can. Um, not sure how much this house is worth, but she probably has a total of like sixty thousand dollars, including the prop, like the value of the property. Um, but anyways, how's Dean? All right, he's really not hungry, but I feel like we really should get that um, 
fully up before anything happens. So, can you give him a drink? Uh, let's just give him a little bit of apple juice. I think it'll fill his stomach up a little bit and, you know, he might not need to bother her in the middle of the night to be fed, which will be good. Um, he can potty train himself, so... I mean, not potty train himself. He can use the toilet by himself. This is like the third vampire that's shown up at their like at Ava's porch since Monday. Like, I don't get it. <laughs> Why are all the vampires interested in her all of a sudden? Anyways, um, gonna do that. How are her needs? I mean, her needs are okay, other than the sleep. But I don't want her to go to bed until you know. Dean's ready, so I don't know. There you go, you can watch your son that works, right? And his bladder's going down. That's actually to be expected. I just don't think it'd go down so fast. Um so he'll get his potty skill up. Uh uh oh. Alright, no, I don't want him to go to bed. Because they're all just going to be stuck in his eye chair forever. Um, she needs to give him some attention, at least. Check toddler. And... Hug lovingly. Maybe we'll also... Um, more choices. Parenting. No, I don't want to do those. Uh, it just takes too long do that maybe tomorrow morning or on a day she has off or something friendly let's play there we go no do not wake up ava wake up <laughs> oh he's so cute that's such a cute little smile i just need to get his attention up um before he does anything else Okay, that is not the right thing to do. Um, I'm gonna go potty. She's gonna clean up his cup and head to bed. He can get himself to sleep. <laughs> his attention will go up, gone up, so that's fine. Um, yeah, attention's gone up, so that that's okay. <laughs> he feels loved. Um, oh boy, it's already midnight and he's still awake. Whew. My bedtime was never that early when I was, uh, was never that late when I was that young. Um, anyways, what time is it? Alright, <laughs> I keep looking at the time because I actually, I have, I have to go somewhere soon, so. Yeah, I have to leave in like 20 minutes. Anyways, um, <laughs> good thing this last play's almost done being recorded, because... I would be late. <laughs> I hate being late to things. I, I hate it. I hate it. I'm always that person that's like at least 10 or 15 minutes early. It's ridiculous. Um, this one time I was like, I, was, I had to go to a birthday party and I didn't want to show up early, but I was early. I was like seven minutes early. So I waited outside on the front porch until the right exact time that the birthday party was supposed to, <laughs> to supposed to start and then I rang the doorbell or knocked on the door or whatever. It was just it was really awkward but I didn't want to show up too early. <laughs> so I just waited outside all bored. It's ridiculous. Um anyways, so his potty skills are going up very slowly. He's not at three yet, but it's gonna take a lot of potties to get him to there, isn't it? Why does he want to play when he's tired? I don't understand him. How about how about going to sleep? There we go. <laughs> um, Ava's gonna wake up to a nice, fun cleaning the potty chair event tomorrow morning. Anyways, um, so this is the end of the let's play. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed the interaction with her parents. Give this video a thumbs up, hit subscribe, check out my other videos. 
um stay tuned for next week's episode i'm not sure what's gonna happen because i never really know what's gonna happen until i start filming um so yeah as always links in the description below to my uh second youtube uh account my facebook page to where you can download everyone i've created every house i've built and there will be the information of everything related to the house that ava's parents were living in um yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day and thank you guys very much for watching. Bye.